Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our webinar on trading market opinions with options. This is the latest in a series of live webcasts offered by TraderPlanet.com through collaboration with well-known industry experts. Today is Tuesday, January 26. We're very happy to have you with us today. I am Darla Tuttle, and I will serve as your host for today's session with Daryl Jobman, a senior analyst for TraderPlanet.com. Today's webcast takes place at a specific date and time, and therefore any opinion given by our presenter may change without notice at any time. Trading involves substantial risk of loss and therefore may not be suitable for all investors, and past performance is not indicative of future results. This webinar is being recorded and will be archived on TraderPlanet.com, so you will be able to review the material at a later time. You can also find additional previously recorded webinars among our other free educational resources within our site at www.TraderPlanet.com. Our distinguished presenter, Daryl Jobman, trades his own personal account and has been involved in the financial markets for more than 40 years. A decorated Vietnam War veteran, he has served as the editor for several agriculture publications before becoming an editor of Futures Magazine for more than 15 years. He has written and edited more than a dozen books and trading courses on trading. While his mission is helping others succeed by learning the do's and don'ts of trading, his editorial contributions to Trader Planet have permitted him to amplify this passion. We're pleased to have him visit with us today. Let's give a warm welcome to Daryl Jobman. Thank you, Darla. Thank you very much for that kind introduction. Uh, first thing we want to do, we've got a lot of ground to cover today about both the options as an instrument and about a, an opinion that we're going to get to to trade the options. But first, we want to do an audio check. You will see on your screen, there's a little man with his hand raised in the lower left corner. You would click on that menu, that little arrow there, and click on the menu. If you can hear the audio fine and everything is going uh, loud and clear, click on I agree what we got for sound okay we got at least some of you can hear me fine good good sounds good okay so we can move ahead and talk about uh, the subject at hand uh, another let's clear that one first and let's get a little feeling about who we have out there in terms of their experience with options uh, some of the uh, webinar we can't go into any great detail on options because that would take us uh, you know at least a day or maybe a whole week you know, some people spend a lifetime learning options. But let's just go uh, to that same menu down there and say, I trade options, whether that's options on stocks or on futures or whatever. But so you have some familiarity with options. If that's you, say, I agree. All right. Getting some people to say that they do agree, that they do have some experience with options. As they say, we're not going to go into every possible thing there is to know about options, but we will cover some of the basics, you know, review some of the basics just in case. Now, we're going to come back to that little man later, so don't forget about him when we talk about uh, what we're going to be kind of doing uh, after we come through the presentation about options. Uh, first of all, I also do need to mention that uh, CRB is the source of the data that I use on the charts. They've been around for more than 75 years, so a very strong historical track record. And then several other things. If you have any questions during the presentation, you can just put them in that little chat box, the Q&A box on the lower left corner. I'll try to answer those uh, at the end of the presentation rather than try to keep up with them as we're going along. And then also, when we do get to the charts, you may want to uh, shift to full screen mode to make sure that you can see the more, some of the details. Uh, just a couple of things to talk about first before we really get into uh, you know, the, the thing, just in case, as I said, that we have somebody here that is not familiar with some of the things that uh, involve options. Uh, first, you have lots of choices with options. Uh, as you know, you can mitigate your uh, risk in many different ways with options. It just depends on how you uh, want the risk and how you want the return and the trade-offs you're willing to make. Uh, a lot of factors go into the options. If you think the market is going up and you want to be long, you can buy a call where your risk is limited to the amount of the premium you pay for the option, or you can sell a put meaning you assume prices will not drop below the strike price of the option and you will be able to collect the premium that the put buyer is willing to pay. Uh, now there are several different things here about it and that is that uh, if you are 
uh, more of a novice. I think more novices tend to be buyers because they always hear all these scare talks about all the risk factors and options. Uh, therefore, they tend to buy. Some brokerage firms, in fact, aren't real wild about uh, trading options, so they may not be very encouraging either. Uh, if you think the market is going to go down, you want to be short. Uh, of course, you do the opposite. You buy the put, which has a limited risk, or you sell the call, which does have the unlimited risk situation. Uh, you know, as, those are just some basic things. There are a lot of less bullish or less bearish ways to play either situation, uh, depending on what you want to accept for risk and return. Now, we want to also point out a couple of other factors to watch. Whenever you talk about options, I think the thing that always comes up in a lot of people's minds that they associate with options are what you call the Greeks, you know, the Delta, Vega, so forth. Uh, they measure the relationship of the option to the underlying and the price, pace of price change. But that's a lot to go into in a little short session, so we won't spend a lot of time on them and uh, try to complicate the issue. We'll just try to keep it as clear as we can. So just some of the basic stuff about the option is that it is a time factor. You cannot hold an option indefinitely. There is a time when it will expire. But time can be your enemy or time can be your friend. If you're a buyer, you want to buy as much time as you can. If you're a seller, you want time to decay as fast as you can. Now, when all is said and done,